Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. As you can see behind me, it's a little backwards, but I'm at Cycle Spring Service Center, Watercraft Sur Service Center today, working on a 27 foot Yamaha. Let's check it out. So, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. It's got all kinds of debris all over it. It's everywhere. <laughs> this thing is super gross but it's beautiful all right so we're gonna clean out all the jams and get all the interior cleaned it's just got a layer of crap all over it Yeah, on the back wall over there. So that's the outside. We need to pull up all the mats and see what's going on on the floor. But I just went and pulled this side up and that popped right off. So I got a feeling they're all gonna be rotted out. So gotta figure that part out. But that's the interior. I'll jump out and show you the outside and then we're gonna get rolling on this thing. All right, so we're finally just getting set up on this uh, 275 SD Yamaha. Uh, you can see all the dirt up there and that kind of thing. Uh, I tried to spray a little bit. I've got a gentleman doing some work on the front of the boat, so I'm trying not to get anything wet, but you can see how just generally dirty it is. It's a super nice boat though. So, just gotta get all this dirt crap off and uh, get it polished. We're gonna do probably two steps of polishing and then I'll put on the uh, Everlasting Marine X. So, that's the outside of the boot. little dirt here and there but it's not horrible it's just all it's really just dirty it's not real bad I mean, it definitely needs a polish I saw a few areas over here like I'm hoping you can see it but this area has got scuffs everywhere little inconsistencies in the gel coat but uh, just uh, some polishing will fix all that so all right, we're gonna get all this boat straight and I'll bring you back when we got some more progress done. Basically, we gotta just give it a good scrub down. Normally we would do a uh, waterless or even a rinseless wash prior to polishing uh, on these boats, even on the interior. But as you can see, it's far too dirty to do that. So we're gonna have to get out the pressure washer and the uh, scrub brush and all that stuff. So, all right, let me get uh, this thing scrubbed down and get it cleaned and then before I start polishing I'll show you kind of what it looks like before we really detail it. All right, this is the outside a little bit of oxidation It's definitely got Some oxidation on the outside you can see all the weirdness in the gel coat It's just inconsistent oxidation big spot right there but it's the same on both sides. You can see that there. You can see all this weirdness right here. Got some scuffs, I'm gonna get these scuffs off first. Uh, and that means I'm gonna walk around the boat with my Milwaukee little handheld job that I've been telling you guys about for a little bit. So I'm gonna go around it and get all the scuffs off first. And then uh, I'm gonna polish the whole boat. So this guy right here is a bad, bad man. Little three inch rotary. All right, I'm gonna start polishing it up. I got Tony all up in the interior. 
I basically just hose those down. So uh, she got the interior looking super nice, as you can see. And I got hosed down this back area. I got the transom all straight. So now it's time to polish. All right, so I had uh, the lovely Tony open up the clean out port on this is the starboard side, and then the port side. It's all cleaned out. Looking nice, all the jams are good. Just wipe the little excess right there and we're good to go. So those are all nice and good. She showed you the interior looks fantastic. All polished, coated, everything is nice. And so now, I've just got just a little bit of this top deck left to, uh, or the top side to uh, polish. I did polish the other side glass. This side doesn't look so bad, but I'm probably gonna polish it anyway. So anyway, I've gotten all the lower side done. Now I gotta get up there on the uh, ladder and get, that, get these streaks out. See those yellow streaks? So I gotta get all that out and then uh, coat everything. And uh, well, I, I actually, when I'm doing the boats, I coat as I go for the most part. So I'll do the full hull with polishing, get it straight, and then I go back and I will coat the full hull. I'll do the polishing on the top section, uh, and then I'll go back, I'll wipe with uh, the Marine Pro, it's the uh, heavy, duty, heavy duty vessel cleaner from the Pro line is what I'm using now. It's got a better primer in it than Universal Clean and Prep does for boats. So uh, I'll give everything a wipe down, then I coat everything. So just this side needs to be polished and we're good to go. It looks super nice. All right, I'll bring you back when I'm uh, totally done with this thing. All right, so I got this side's all done. I'm gonna let the lovely Tony show you her work on the interior. All right. All right, peeps. Here we go. We are all set. Looking beautiful. All clean and shiny. All the hatches are clean too. But it really wasn't bad. It was just super dusty and just kind of dirty, but it wasn't bad. Captain seats look awesome. They actually just did a repair on the seat. Yeah, a guy just came out and did that a little bit ago. So yeah, looks good. And there's the hubby. <laughs> Thanks guys. All right guys, it's all done. I got it all polished and coated. Everything looks nice and glossy and clear. Super happy with how it turned out. Gotta get around all this water. It's like two inches of standing water. Look how nice and glassy that looks. Whew. So we got the lounge deck back here all straight. It's a used boat. It's not easy to get the vinyl perfect, but we got it pretty clean. We took all the floor mats out, which is piled right here because they got to put all new snaps on them. That's the plan. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're at Cycle Springs Watercraft Service Center. Uh, if you guys need a boat, Cycle Springs is the number one Yamaha watercraft dealer, I think in America, but maybe in the world. Anyway, they always treat us right. They always treat our, well, here's the thing. I'm a customer of Cycle Springs. I bought many things from here. And uh, they've always done me right, whether I'm, you know, a contractor basically cleaning the boat for them or whether I'm buying something from them. Very, very pleased with uh, just the company in general. But look at that gloss. I mean, wow. Here's the thing. Gary Dean knows a little something about polishing boats. Just saying. <laughs> anyway. I'm happy with 
how it turned out. It's nice and clean coated. Oh, let me show you what my wonderful wife did. Look underneath that T-top. Look how glossy and protected. <laughs> well, you can't see how protected it is. But you can see how glossy and beautiful that is. So she got all up in there, got all of the 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 frame basically, and then that fiberglass T-top all straight. Didn't you? Didn't you do it? So she gets the interiors done. I polish and coat the outside. And then when I'm done or if she's done, we help each other out like that. So all my gear, lots of stuff. I had to move the truck up to the front. Now I got a loader in. Um, very soon I'm gonna show you guys, I'm actually installing uh, bed liners as well because we're working it with it on the marine side. Uh, we use a two part, uh, 2k urethane two-part deal uh but i'll we'll talk more about that i have to do this bed this is my truck uh, my work truck uh, but i gotta do that bed and a few other marine parts which is why i'm using the stuff uh but we're also offering uh jet ski uh hull uh painting basically with the with the uh product and we're doing bed liners as well and marine parts. So anyway, Yamaha, I believe this is a 2020 275 SD. Looks awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me babble and watch these videos. If you have any questions for me, my phone number is 813-846-4406. Uh, if you wanna schedule an appointment to get your boat detailed or if you've got a question about a product uh, from detailjuice.com uh, or whatever the case may be, if I can help you in your detailing endeavors, that's the phone number to use. Uh, or if you need to book an appointment, that would also be the phone number to use. So uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes and what I've got going on. Stay tuned guys, 2022 is gonna be an amazing year. All right, so this is the uh, 27 foot Yamaha we did a few weeks ago and uh, it had some debris and that kind of stuff. It has this black crap all over it. You can see this dust. Uh, so we're gonna get all that off. Uh, it was sitting at uh, the Cycle Springs Boat Service Center uh, for about a week and a half after we finished it and uh, the owner picked it up and wasn't happy because it wasn't immediately covered up and it got all this black stuff all over it um, and made the vinyl look much dirtier than it actually is. So we're here today to basically do a once over on the whole uh, interior. We're just going to wipe everything down, uh, see if we can get any more stains out of anything and uh, make sure that the coating is level and even on all the surfaces. So that's what we're trying to do today. Um, little issue with dirt on the captain's chair. I'm gonna try to fix all that. But uh, that's where we're at and we're in it, about to get it done. All right guys, so we just finished this interior for the second time. You can see that the vinyl looks absolutely amazing. Very close to new like it did when we were done last time. Unfortunately, we had to come back and redo it just to make the customer happy because my reputation is worth more than the money. So I always do what's right, even if it costs me money. And unfortunately, this one having to come all the way back, go through the whole interior, set us back about an hour, plus all my drive time, which is about an hour and a half. But uh, it is what it is. I'm making this customer happy. And again, that's what I'm all about. This is... This whole thing is about making customers happy, not worrying about the money. I pay more attention to my reputation. And like I mentioned, that's very important. It should be to you as well. So if you're a boat detailer, car detailer, whatever, don't worry about the money. Worry about your customer and you will succeed. So, all right, well, this is all we've got for this day. I've got one little section left to clean. We've got to get those mats looking really good and then we are jumping off this bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut
cover pulled back this way Why while the uh, lovely Tony gets the uh, mat scrubbed down All right, this is the last little clip. We're about to finish tidying up the cover which we are putting back on the boat Not super easy in the wind um, But I just wanted to show that we clean these mats really well no footprints no real dirt to speak of they look awesome so that's the last piece of this puzzle and we're gonna button up this uh cover and we're out of here <laughs>